It's not raining. Praise the good Lord. So now we have things to do. To people about what we went through uh, uh, to make look good in leather, you know, shoot the video, make an independent run at it. Videos these days cost five million, five hundred thousand. Yeah, but can you do it for five grand? <laughs> Why do we shoot look in my video? Because it was the next logical step, taking it to the next level. I mean, unfortunately, people hear with their eyes now, so you got to put it in front of them so they can visualize it. And I guess that's a step in that direction. There you go. The digital age is here, and um, you know now kids are, are going out shooting stuff and coming home and playing it back. And basically that's what we have. We shot this video with four Canon XL1s in the digital domain, even though high grade digital. Um, we had Hilton, who's an experienced DP. Um, we have Brooke, who's an experienced producer for films, but still she came down and all these people just, you know, showed up. You know, when I get some money, I'll pay them. But, you know, they showed up on, on the strength of, let me listen to the material, or let me come and see Cody play. And then they understood that we had something that had potential. We already, see, check it out. We already are in for a good start. Because someone from MTV came down to the video shoot already. I'm uh, <laughs> Ethan Peterson, I'm from MTV. That was a good sign uh, from above that we were going in the right direction. And that... Uh, the people in the know would come to us and we came out with something that I believe is going to make rock and roll history. Uh, it's going to change some things, it's going to change how, uh, it's going to give music the do-it-yourself feel again, which I believe will bring it closer to the people. Because right now it costs so much to do music. Our big debut, Ready, Set, Go, uh, it's not independent, it's major. It's, it's major. That's what it is, you know, because uh, we're making a major impact in the in the entertainment industry. So we're going to strip the independent label uh, away from all of our efforts because what, everything we do, we do it in a major way. Ready, set, go. Will it take, you know, will a major format like MTV and VH1 accept this video, BET? We'll just have to see, but we did what we could do. So now it's up to them. Did I say them? It's up to them. <laughs> My mother would kill me to do what they can do. You know, so that's pretty much it, partner. That's cool, man. Are you I am? I, I hollered at Tina, you know, one of the one of the little sisters that worked alongside the roots. And I said, well, what you want me to say about them before I bring them out? She said, well, I said, well, where he come from? What is he, what, what is he labeled? She said, well, he's a mysterious motherfucker. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put your hands together for a mysterious motherfucker. And he is a mysterious motherfucker. I, had a, I talked to my man last night, you know what I'm saying, at our show over at the House of Blues. A real peace, brother. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Show your love, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cody Chester. Praise God, praise God. I'm trying to tell you, man. God's got a kingdom for us to inherit. Let's do it, sisters and brothers.
Why? That's rock and roll. That's soul. That's funk. That shit is beautiful right here. Are you ready for the revolution? How did Cody Chestnut get from here to here? The world is coming. The world is coming to my party tonight. Where's Cody? Where's Cody? I look good in leather. Everybody's looking. I look good in leather. Cody Chestnut off the chain, man. Right. That's the record you should have. Get it! Get that record! Get that!